Don't show George on this. See what I did there? Happy with that. Oh, the spade's really coming into its own. Every time I go to grab a tool, Ruben's got it. Story of my life. What's this melt mark? Who's turned that onto a live breaker? I would never be good at frisbee golf, would I? I don't really know what I'm going to say. Take two. Welcome back guys. Today me and Ruben are over Neil Milton Keynes, I think, uh, Bedford. Got a lo lovely Anderson to put up on this wall by the garage. And just to make it look nice, I think we're gonna just come down and go into the garden and it's just gonna clip low level around, around the garden wall to the utility room. It's a little bit of a run to the fuse board, but I'm just gonna do a nice bit of trunking all the way around the utility room. So I'm gonna go grab that now and I'll leave you with Ruben while he gets started and uh, some B-roll. I'm just levelling up the charger, making a couple of marks ready for Ruben while I head to the wholesalers. Just a quick note, so the brickwork isn't completely level, slightly off, so I'd rather go by eye to the line of the brick than make it level. And when you look at the wall, it looks, I, don't, I can't really say it on here, but not level. So yeah, just a, something to note, I mean, you could go level and it will look like it's slanting off with the brickwork, so sometimes it's just best to follow your eyes rather than actually follow the level. Um, I've mounted them ones for you, mm -hmm. so if I get some screws and plugs off, yeah. I guess you could get that mounted ready. Cool. And then, I mean, I think it'll be better to drill from this side, so mm -hmm. once that's mounted, where's a cable entry? It's here, so but stick the laser on it. It's gonna be like, around about there mm -hmm. and then if you could drill through and poke the cable through ready for it yeah you could start sort of just clipping that so it looks nice i mean if it goes up to like that and then you've got here, all of that to got go through one two three four five six seven say eight so one, one two three four seven Oh. I mean, it's about seven and a half. It's pretty tight. The thing is, it'll probably be perfect, but I guess poke that through, mm -hmm. and as long as we leave what we need, you might yeah. get another sort of bit on that. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> Could you imagine we clip it all the way and then it's like sliding too short? <laughs> See where we're at. Okay, not bad. Pretty low down. Bit of a pop on the brick, but it's not really noticeable. Yeah, it's a nice level because it's really low down. Happy with that. Okay, so the cable does, it will go through that hole actually. So I'm not gonna widen it out with the 25. But I might just stick the 20 mil back in, just kind of wiggle it around a bit more so that it like, slightly opens it up a bit more. Nice. But it kind of needs to be perfect. Uh... Okay, we'll go a bit shorter. We'll go to about there, so there's still a bit of wiggle room. Because those are the terminals there, not those. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go to about there, so that we still have a bit more uh, leeway. See what I did there? Leeway. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm just pushing it back through so that I can chisel it about here so that it's not so sharp uh, when it comes through. So I'm just gonna make it nice and round. Strongman lift. 
the gate all. Oh, the spade's really coming into its own. I'll put a little bit of yellow tape on and then we'll just chuck that and put the slabs back. And then he should be all right to clip along there while I um, do the trunking. Thank you. Okay, so the board's over in the far side of the utility room. And I mean, I don't want to just leave cable on show. So what I've gone with is a bit of 75 by 50 trunking, which some people might say is a bit big and horrible, but there's no coving up at the minute, so I can get it nice and tight up to the corner of the ceiling. And once I put a bit of cork around the edge, it's gonna look nice. And the main reason I thought is, because it's hard to access the board, it future-proofs it. So if they ever wanna get solar or any circuits running in the garden, there's a nice route already made for everyone. Yeah, it just makes it easier for anyone in the future, really. And then also in the board, I'm gonna to have to change one of these RCDs to a type A and I'll be putting a 32 amp MCB in there. Also the slightly bigger trunking will hide the SWA gland going into the board. So yeah, it's better than um, going too small and then having your gland sticking out or something. So um, yeah, that's what I've gone with. So hopefully it will look all right. This is where I need Corey with his <laughs> It's 200 kg. <laughs> 200 kg, <kg's laughs> <laughs> Jokes, Corey. Hope you're having a lovely time spearfishing in Cornwall. Yeah, it definitely wow. needs all brushing in the cracks and trying to compact it down. Right, is anyone listening? So, anyone that watched Jordan's Instagram stories and Ruben said he's got a tool bag, every time I go to grab a tool, where's my hammer? Oh, Ruben's got it. Where's my drill? Ruben's got it. So, when he says he's got a tool bag, he said, no, Lee's got a tool bag. Let's, let's see what he says when he comes around the corner. Ruben, where's my hammer? Is it in your tool bag? Hey, what tool bag? Well, everyone on Instagram live seems to think you've got a tool bag. Quite nice brickwork, ain't it? I might take that corner off I've screwed up so I can get the drill in there. Yeah, I don't want to blow the face of the brick out on that because it's quite nice. Don't show Jordan this. I'm not using the hilt and I've not got ear defenders on. <laughs> Probably with like a 32 or something. <laughs> and we're going to have to pull it up, all out into the garden and then feed it. It's going to be hard, got to try and get the bend. Oh, I see, yeah. Story of my life. Ready? I would never be good at frisbee golf, would I? Oh, I just got that. Oh man, I just burnt myself. <laughs> where my hand is roughly.
maybe we should have done the hole higher up like the cameraman said. Ham, pepperoni and cheese sandwich. Uh, McCoy's steak crisps and cheeky bit of a little dime bar. it all, second fix both sides, got to change that to a type A, do the testing. Update Ruben, where are we? Oh, uh. he's put on the spot. <laughs> um, so trunking's up, it's all banded through, um, it's all clipped around outside, so we're gonna stop for a bite to eat, a rare lunch that we don't usually get. Mm. <laughs> and then when we come back, we'll lid up, cork it all, Second fix the charger, second fix in here. Change the breakers, do the testing. So yeah, still a bit to do, but um, it's just a nice point to stop in the day. So we're gonna go have a bite to eat. Your uh, neutral, your live, your earth, the white one, sticking with that white one, and that just put a Wago on in because it's not being used. Right, okay. I think there's a little clamp in that box as well that goes over oh, okay. to clamp the cable in. I think the sides you just have to loosen them two off first. I'm going to go in and start cutting that lid. Okay, so all the outsides connected up. Ruben's just neatening it up out there. Just gonna glan this into the board, finish the lidding up, have a good tidy up and just do the testing. And then yeah, should be it, should be it for the day. In the front long pouch. What's this? What's this melt mark? Who's turned that on? Who's put that onto a live breaker? Who did that? <laughs> you right to unscrew them from the terminal, and I'll do a IR test. Oh, yeah. Just make sure they're not touching, obviously. Pretty sure. Cool. Live earth. Live neutral. All right, I can go back on, Ruben. I can go back in, yeah? Yeah, cheers, mate. Right guys, that's it for today. Really nice Anderson, I think. One of the better looking car chargers in my opinion. So you can see we had quite a weird route today. I think all in all it come out pretty well. The boxing in in the utility room. I mean, I've left it big enough for future cables to go in there. And just corking around the edges makes a world of a difference. Just really blends it in. Yeah, I had to go a little bit under the path, but 
we've put electrical tape there and you can see it both sides so it's only about a, a meter or so so it's not the end of the world but yeah really nice chargers i recommend these obviously they haven't got all the features that the other ones have got but i think they look the best with hiding the cable inside um, get some really nice finishes on them so yeah another interesting install and on to the next one